Here we have 5.5 solving a rational equation that simplifies to a linear with a denominator x. So the way we solve equations that have fractions is to multiply both sides of the equation or another way to think of that is multiply every term in the equation by the lowest common denominator. So in this case, this can be written as a fraction, which is one. And if I find the common denominator, um, the easiest way that I can explain to find the denominator, common denominator as things start to increasingly become more difficult is to always do the factors in common once only times the factor the distinct factors and distinct meaning different from each other so if we look at denominator one which is this denominator we have w if we look at denominator two we have one they do not have anything in common okay However, they do have distinct factors. The first denominator has a factor of W, which is different from the second denominator. And the second denominator, I guess they really do have a one in common, don't they? Because that has a one coefficient. So I shouldn't say they don't have anything in common. They actually have that one in common. But I don't have to list it twice, only once, okay? So this is what they have in common, and then this is what the first denominator has different from the second denominator. So if I multiply that together, that's actually just W. So my lowest common denominator is W. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first fraction and multiply it by W over one. Then I'm going to take the second fraction and multiply it by W over one, the LCD over one. When I multiply these, you can either multiply first and then reduce or reduce first and then multiply. That choice is up to you, but you do have to do both steps. You do have to reduce and you have to multiply. So I like to reduce first just because it makes what I'm going to multiply a little less. So I notice that the W here and the W here can reduce. Here, nothing can really reduce. You're already down to ones, which is as low as they go. So here I get six over one, and over here I get negative nine w over one, which is the same as saying the whole number six and the whole number negative nine w. And so then how do I resolve this resulting equation? We divide both sides by the coefficient. So then this will cancel, and I'll be left with w by itself, and this will reduce to negative two over three. And so then my solution here is negative two over three. Now you have to be careful because with fractions, you have to verify that your solutions are in fact solutions. And how do we do that? Just inspect and make sure that this, this solution doesn't make any of the denominators zero. So since my denominator is W and W equals negative two thirds, it's not going to make this denominator zero. And this side did not originally have a denominator shown. So there's nothing to check on this side. So as long as this denominator is not zero, when I plug in that solution, then this is in fact the actual solution, the actual answer. And so inside Alex, my answer would be negative two thirds. I only mention this because as we get deeper and deeper into uh, solving rational equations, there may be times in the future where we do find out that our solution, although it was found correctly, may not actually be a solution at all, okay? And those are called um, extraneous solutions. So you do everything right, but it's just not going to work, okay? So just wanna build you up so that when we get there, it's not unexpected, okay? So let's keep going.